Hello, hello, hello. I'm just sitting here waiting for people to come in. This is a live. So I'm just waiting for people to come in. I will start the video. Hey, Dimps. Oh, you up early. You at work? Hey, Marla. Hey, Pamela. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Y'all see I'm doing lives a little bit early nowadays. <laughs> hey, Betty. Hey, Life with Ming. Hey, Anita, Asia, Beverly. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, fabulous. Hey, y'all up. Look at the shirt I made, y'all. Good morning, my name is Charmaine. And I am here today. I'm going to be working with my DTF machine. And look at the shirt I made yesterday on my DTF machine, it's the hoodie. Isn't it cute? Nice. My first hoodie I made with my DTF machine. These DTF machines is changing the game, y'all. I love it. So it seems like every day I've been coming down here and trying to make something. But today I'm going to be doing a, a basically a, the daily maintenance of the printer. So you can see how you basically start from finish. And I'm going to see if somebody can time me. Cause, but I'll be talking a lot, so maybe that timing won't really work because you really don't know how long it takes because you're basically, I'm talking and I'm doing other things. So I'm just trying to figure out how long does it take to finish a whole shirt, you know, so I can start this business. So if you're looking to start a business with T-shirts, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe to this channel because we're going to be doing a lot of different um ways to design shirts my hands are dry y'all forgive me um so we could do sublimation we could do dtf we could do embroidery i have all those machines excuse my hair y'all if y'all see me yesterday i had my hair done yesterday but i sweated it out so now it's all in my face but yes yeah, so um the dtf is a really good machine and like i said i've done three videos already on this machine in the last two days and if you don't know the difference between DTF and sublimation, it's basically DTF, you basically print from a, um, on film. And sublimation, you basically print with ink, and the ink is infused into the shirt. Okay, so you can feel this. It's like a film. You can feel it. It's kind of like vinyl. But with sublimation, you can't feel it. And with sublimation, you only can um, use certain shirts, like 100% polyester, and it has to be a light color, white, gray light colors but with dtf honey you can put it on any color shirt you can put it on any type of shirt as far as cotton 100 percent cotton polyester you can do it any way you want so that's the reason why i wanted to do this and yes these machines can be very expensive so if you're really not looking to make a business out of it or whatever i mean it's up to you but it's they can be expensive well the submission machines can be expensive too but um you can Sublimation would be a little bit cheaper because you can convert a lot of printers to sublimation, but you can also convert DTF printers into um to DTF. You can also convert regular printers to DTF printers, but I heard that the maintenance is really high on those because the ink get clogged up really fast, and they also get clogged up on the regular DTF machines too. But it's easier to fix than you basically converting a regular inkjet printer to a DTF printer. But as y'all know, I have converted my um regular inkjet printers to my sublimation printer, but I also have <laughs> big baby back there, big daddy back there. Um, that's a sublimation printer also. So it can be done, but you just got to do the maintenance, okay? So the machine I have now is basically the Pro Colored Epson L1800, okay? I got it from Pro Colored, and the link is below. If you just want to purchase that, you can use my link and save some money. If you use my use my link, if you spend over two thousand dollars, and yes, this machine is about two thousand dollars for this machine that I have right here, and it does print eight thirteen by nineteen. Okay, I have forty six people watching. Hey, hey, hey! Please go ahead and give me thumbs up. I'm about to show y'all how to do a shirt on this DTF machine, from step from 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 morning maintenance to all the way to the shirt. So basically, every day you have to um, turn the machine on and do a print cleaning. Okay, so um, I do do trainings on Messenger or um, whatever, I can do one-on-one -on -one trainings through video chat, video call for sewing, embroidery, DTF, Cricut, did I miss anything? Sublimation, I can do that. So if you need to do, if you wanna do a class with me, inbox me on Facebook, Charmaine Galloway, and we can, I can tell you the fee and everything for that, okay? 
So let's see what y'all are saying on here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start this daily maintenance for the machine so we can get it started. Everybody just saying good morning. They love my shirt. Thank you, thank you. Um, does it lift away? No, is it does not lift away. You can stretch it. See the stretch of it. You can stretch it and everything. So no, it does not lift up. I've um I have bought a lot of DTF film in the past. DTF um shirts in the past, and I also bought the transfers before because you can check out big. These teas and things. He um is really cool. I don't know him personally, but he sent me a lot of free stuff. So then I purchased some from him. So I've I've had DTF shirts before. Basically, when you I also make my own DTF transfers. So basically, when if you want to buy a transfer from me, just like I bought some from um these teas and things dot com, you basically just basically have a heat press or an arm, and you would get the um film sent shipped to your house. And you just press it on. You know, you do it 320 degrees. For uh, 40 seconds, and then you cover it, you, um, you peel it off, and then you basically, um, well, I was trying to show you today, then you basically print, press it again for 10 seconds with Teflon paper, okay? So you can, if you don't want to do that, you can just buy the whole shirt like this, hoodie like this, or you can buy the transfer, which I'll show you how that looks after I print it out, and then you just basically heat press it on your shirt yourself. Here's my heat press going off. Let me go ahead and close it so it make sure it won't make all this noise. I'll be right back. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I ain't going to hear the noise in my ear. I was just getting that heat press. He's up and it's ready. So, um, what I was about to say. Let's see what else I was saying. Good morning, good morning. Okay, Betty, I'll check my message. I really want to. I really want one. Oh, oh you say you really want a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. That's fine. I I message you. I mean, I can check your message that you sent me on Facebook, and we can hook that up. Yes, hit the like button, y'all. I have 12 people that have liked the video. But I have 52 people watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If it's your first time, please um tell me shout out saying you're a newbie so I can shout you out. If it's not your first time, thanks for rocking with your girl. Hey, hey, hey to everybody. Go ahead and give me thumbs up, please, on this video. So basically, with this machine, you cannot use a MacBook. I have a MacBook, but I have to go and buy another computer. Like I said, I've done three videos on this, explaining all these rules and regulations in my other videos. So I really don't like when people repeat myself because people that already watch the other videos, they're like, dog, she keep on repeating herself. But I know there's more people that have not seen the videos before. So I don't know. I just, you have to go check out the other videos to get full detail of what this um, machine can do. Um, also, if you want to see how to um, put the machine together out the box, basically go to... Um, Craftable things. Is that her name? Craftable things. Dimps. Fabulous. Let me know if I'm saying it right. But I think it's craftable things. Go to her YouTube channel and she'll tell you step by step on how to get the computer out the box when it's shipped to you. Get the printer out the box when it's shipped to you and um put it together, put the ink in there. Because I don't have a video like that, but she does. Okay. So check her um video out. Her name is Craftable Things. She does a very good demonstration on how to get it up and start running to make it start running okay so let's go ahead and show you my computer okay so here's my computer i had to buy another computer i have a pc a hp or whatever so here's the pro rip right here make sure when you um click on here you have the machine i mean your printer hooked up right here it's the printer right here. This is like a little cable, little um box that I got from Best Buy because I only had three outlets on here, two outlets on here. So I basically bought this one so I can be able to put my mouse in here, my computer mouse, my images, my um software, and then my printer. So you have to have these two things print um inside the computer for it to work. Okay. So then I go ahead and go to um. It says, do you want do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So I say yes. So then there's the Pro Color. That's the name of the software. Well, that's the name of the machine, but the software is called Pro Ripped. So I guess Pro Color makes that. So yesterday I was doing a video, right? And I was kind of confused because I got this diagram, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. So I'm gonna just let you know about that before. Cause I was gonna do a print heading, yes, a print head cleaning yesterday, but a diagram 
popped up and I was confused and I didn't want to mess anything up. So I talked to my sales guy and he told me to go ahead and do it. So they do need to update some of these things. So I'm going to let y'all see that in a minute. But this is the program right here, right? So make sure your printer is on. The printer is on and you make sure it's between 35 and 45 degrees, which is on 35 right now. The green button is not flashing, so it's ready. It's plugged into your machine. So every day you have to do a print head cleaning. So this is how you do it. There is no video to show you this in this little um thing they gave me. They gave me this little USB and it says instruction videos. They do not have a video on this, okay? So that's why I'm going to do this video so you can know, so you won't be confused like I was as to do my research and find this video. So now I'm gonna do a video so you can see how to do it. Um, it is a video on how to do it, but it's the wrong video. It's telling you to push F. F11 on your computer. And when I push F11, it's, it's, this is my airplane mode or F12, it's airplane mode. So that didn't work. So I had to do some research and I figured out how to do it. So this is how you do it to do a print head cleaning, okay? So push this right here. And then you basically right click in the middle of this page. And this right here, you go to print preferences, okay? Printer preferences, I'm sorry. I clicked on that. And right here it says main, more options and maintenance. I have not went to any of these things yet. So I really don't know nothing about this yet. Maybe it's just the ink or whatever, paper, whatever, plain paper, whatever, but I'm going to maintenance. Okay, so today we're gonna to focus on maintenance. And right here, it tells you nozzle check, head cleaning, print head alignment and power ink flushing. Okay. Somebody said, where did I get my computer from? I'm all Mac. I got this from Best Buy and it had a Black Friday sale. Okay, so I got it from, I get a lot of my stuff from Best Buy because I know they have good warranties. So, um, so what today, she, he's telling me, well, the, my sales guy told me to do a nozzle check and a head cleaning daily, right? But <laughs> I'm just telling you what, 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 what I've been going through. Not saying there's nothing wrong with the company or like that. I'm just telling you what I've been informed and what's going, what happens after I do what they tell me to do. I did a head cleaning. No, let me see. I did a nozzle check first yesterday. My nozzle, my nozzle, nozzle check came out perfect. But then I printed and my printing was not right. Let me show you how it looked. It looked something like I saved it just so I can show you. It looks like this. So that means something is not right, okay? And I still did not do a head print cleaning. What I did was just went on ahead and printed something else again and it worked out for me. So when you see a print coming out the machine and it's not white, starting out white, then you need to cancel that by pushing this button right here and start over. But I wanted to go ahead and finish the print just to see how it looks so I can show you how it looks. But this needs to start. You can look at the print while it's printing. And once it's printing out and it's not white, you just stop it and start over because so you won't waste your film, right? But I printed it on out and it's still messed up and I cannot use this. It looks good on the front, but you cannot use this because we're not here, it don't look good. But the top, it looks good, but you cannot use this. This whole back has to be white, okay? It has to be white. So that means my white was not pumping out like it's supposed to, okay? So with that being said, I did a head cleaning yesterday. No, I did a nozzle check yesterday. My nozzle check was perfect, but my printing is still not right. So I should have went on here and did a head cleaning. And even if it wasn't right, I guess I got to go ahead and do a nozzle check. So today I'm going to, um, like I said, this is what they told me to do daily. So I'm about, to, I'm about to see if somebody can time it for me and let me know how long it takes to do these things so I can be able to know how much it would do to make a, a shirt, okay? I mean, from start to finish daily if we're doing running our business, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do the, shoot, which one, I'm getting them confused, which one to do first, nozzle check. The nozzle check basically shows you, this is what it is. The nozzle check basically shows you the diagram and, and like just like if you do sublimation, you do head print cleanings and it show you a diagram of how the lines look. And you see the lines is crooked or, or spotted, then that means you, your stuff is not good. But if it's clear, I mean, if the lines are straight, that means everything is good. But like I said, this one came out, my lines were straight and it still wasn't good. So let's go ahead and do a nozzle check. To perform a nozzle check, make sure that the printer is on and the connection the, is connected to the computer. Also make sure that the A4 or letter size paper is in. But he told me I can go ahead and use my film, okay? But 
<laughs> it will be better to use paper because you can see it better with paper because it's very thin, it's very light on the film. But he told me, that, when I say he, I'm telling you the sales guy that I talked to on Skype. They're from China. So basically we talked through Skype and he told me it's okay to use film. I'm asking them questions because I know they, you might have questions so I can answer y'all questions with the right answers, okay? So he told me to use the film. So I'm gonna go ahead and push, let me push this, uh, push print. I showed you right there how it puts a look. So I'm gonna go ahead and put do not display this mission again. Let me see. So I'm just gonna ahead. You can I'm gonna just disable this because I don't want to keep on seeing this message. It's just telling you that um Epson can notify the tech technical updates promotions. I don't really care about no, I'm gonna just leave that alone because I might need that someday. So I'm gonna just go ahead and decline it for right now. So to hear this right here, the same thing you do submission, it is show you these lines, right? So basically if the lines are like if they are straight like this, that means it's good which is how mine looked yesterday. But if they spot it like this, that means you got to basically do a cleaning. A cleaning is needed, okay? But like I said, I'm going to repeat myself again. It might look just like this yesterday, but it still didn't print out right. So I'm going to go ahead and still do the nozzle. So then I'm going to go say, I'm going to say clean right here. No. Oh, oh. so I'm going to do clean right here. See, I didn't put, I didn't see this right <laughs> yesterday. So hold on, I'm going to show you how the paper look. And then I'm going to push that cleaning button. This is so confusing. See how, how light it is? You can barely see it. But let me see. Let me lift it up and see how it looks after I take it off this black, behind this black. Oh, it does. It's right here. <laughs> it's early, y'all. So let me cut it with my little cutter. And make sure, I'm sorry, make sure when you do your prints and stuff, make sure your cutter is up because one time I had my cutter down and my print, my paper got stuck when it was printed and it messed up my print, okay? So make sure you got to make sure that you keep that um cutter up. And I wish they had a way you can basically uh, uh, screw this in because I hate the way this tray moves, but there's no way, it's not no way we can screw it in. You just got to sit it up here like this. So it kind of moves around. So let me see. Um, You can see that. Let me see if my eyes my stuff because I can't see through the phone. Everything looks good, but like I said, it would be would be better if I had it on paper. Oh, it looks better through my phone. You can see it really good through the phone. See how those lines are straight? There's no spotting or nothing like that. But even though it's not any spotting or any gaps between the um lines, I'm going to go ahead and still put clean, okay? So let's see how long it takes to clean. So I'm about to time myself. Somebody put the timer on for me because I don't have a timer. So I'm about to push clean now, and I want you to tell me what time it is right now so I can go by how long it takes. Ready, set, go. Hope oh, somebody's listening. So then I put, no, hold on, don't push a timer. <laughs> so this is what I did yesterday, and it's told me to basically to clean the print head nozzle because cleaning consumes some ink. Only clean the print head when faint areas or gaps appears in your printout. Okay, this is, what they, this is what they're telling me. So I didn't do it yesterday because it told me this, right? And it also said before running a cleaning, make sure that the transportation lock is in the unlock position, okay? So I was confused about that because I didn't have this, un, this uh, transportation lock. So of course I went to my sales rep and I asked him, what is this transportation lock? He gonna say, well, there's, we don't have that on the machine. So they really need to update this stuff because this makes people confused. And I know I'm not the only one that, that went through this. I didn't want to perform this because I thought I would mess up something because I couldn't find the transportation lock. So he told me to go ahead and do a head cleaning every day and don't worry about this unlock transportation lock because just, there's nothing like that on this machine. Okay, so <laughs> that's why I'm doing this video because people can get can confused when they get to this part. I didn't do it yesterday because I was scared I was gonna mess up the machine, but he told me to go ahead and do it. So I'm going ahead and push start so go ahead, let me know what time it is so we can see how long it takes to do this, okay? Uh, it's basically saying Epson can notify you of te technical updates, promotions, and other items. I'm gonna just go ahead and just decline it right now. So there it is, it's telling me, so So I'm Dems, thank you. She said 10.33. So Dems, you got my back, girl. So let me know what time it will be after it's done doing this, okay? So we can see how long it takes. Let's see if we can look at it clean, okay? It's just making noise. So it's really not moving anything right now, but it's just making noise if you can hear oh, it's moving now. So it's basically doing the um, cleaning right now and we have to do this daily, okay? So I just need to know what, how, how long this takes to do this. 
put this up so it won't mess up anything. Okay, so while that's going on, it tells you how long it has to go. I'm gonna go ahead and look at y'all questions why I'm waiting for this to come back on. Okay, I'm gonna just show y'all that so y'all can see what's going on over here. Uh, let's see. Grand rising kings and queens. Good morning, everyone. Like I said, um, hey, Doran. Let me see, Charmaine Galloway, where did you get the computer from? Okay, I already answered that. Why waste your film? Yeah, that's true, damn. So I should put paper in there, cause yeah. But the thing is, well, it's no, it's no reason. <laughs> I read on no paper right now, but uh, she, yeah. Why waste your film when you can use white paper? So yeah, and you can, and basically the paper makes it, it, it looks better. Hold on, is it done? No, it's not done. So yeah, I'm gonna probably try to use paper next time, cause the tray is big enough. Basically, I can move the tray to make it smaller, cause the paper would be eight by. In half by 11, the film is 13 by 19. So I would do use film next time, but you just gotta feed the paper, feed the um, just gotta feed the film back in. It's not hard. So let's see. Why is the film? Okay, what else? That's all. Any questions? Why I'm waiting for this to um head this head cleaning for this printer? But like I said, this is the if the, if you're just not getting on, it's the Pro Color. Epspin is Ep made by Epson and it's 1800. If you want this printer, go to the link below this video and click on the link, and you will say, have um save some money by using my link. Okay. And like I said, I'm doing this to see how long it takes to perform a whole task of doing a shirt. And I know somebody's timing me, so I'm gonna write down the time for this, and I'm gonna all add all the time up together and see, just see how long. Because you have to do, I was told you had to do a hair cleaning every day to get the ink rolling. And then also, after I do this hair cleaning, I want to see if it's going to print out correctly without doing it the second one. So, doing another one. Any questions? Why we sit here and watch this? <laughs> It's still, we got a little bit more time left and I'm gonna write down the time so I can see how long it took. So then you can basically put this in your time, in your daily time of doing your um job, performing your job or whatever, shirts or whatever you wanna use it on. So now you can, you know you could do, oh, it's done y'all. So it says, um, that was, how long was that, Dimps? 10, it started at 10.33 and what time is it now? So I say it says the cleaning cycle is finished. To verify that the cleaning was um, effective, click print um, nozzle check pattern. I'm like, let me see. It's going to print it out again. It's going to print it out again, which is going to still be fine. Performing nozzle will show the print is on. I ain't going to print it out again because it already was fine when I did it the first time. So I'm not going to print it out again, okay? So I'm just going to cancel that. So it took 3.5 minutes. Well, three, I'm just saying that three and a half minutes. So let's just say four minutes, okay? Four minutes tops for the the head for the um for the head cleaning, okay? But what I did was I didn't click on head cleaning. I clicked on nozzle check, and then the nozzle check went on here and did the um. I clicked on. I mean, while I clicked on nozzle check, it took me to the um head cleaning. Also, I seen someone do the power ink flushing already on YouTube, and basically you do the power ink flush when you basically are gone from your, not if you have not used your printer over four or five days, okay? You do that because you have to flush the ink. When you flush the ink, you have to make sure, I found this out, you have to make sure, you see that, if I can see that plastic black tube back here, let me go around there and show y'all. It's a plastic tube with black ink. You have to make sure this is not full because it will over, flow so right now my black ink is in there but it's not full so when it's full you got to empty it before you do the flush because basically the, all the ink will be flushed into this container and you don't want to over you don't know, want to fill up okay so see right now i have black ink in there but there's a paper towel in there to show you so it won't soak it up in the cup so you don't want that full so make sure you check that before you do a power flush okay any questions before i go ahead and finish up that's our daily maintenance okay so all you have to do is do that hair cleaning daily and um, like I said, a power flush, if you had it off for a couple, you know, over three days. So that takes four minutes, about four minutes to do a hair cleaning. So now when I do this other, when I print out a picture, I want you to tell me how long it takes to print out a picture, okay? So let's go ahead and take this away. 
Now, y'all, I've been designing my butt off, okay? The last couple of days, so how to, how, this is basically right here, let me show you this right here too. This is basically all the jobs I've done so far. <laughs> and it tells you the date from the 5th. I've been working starting on December the 5th and it tells you the um the printer I use right here and it's finished and then the 100% processed timing. Oh, it tell you the timing right here. Why is it only zero, zero right here? 27. Okay, it had to be more than 27 seconds, and it couldn't have been no 27 minutes. So we're going to find that out in a minute. And the rest of these are zero. So we're going to find that in, out in a minute. Okay, so I just basically pushed this arrow over here to get back to the debate, the main screen. Okay, you're welcome. She said, thank you for your video. I'm patiently waiting for our DTF. Hey, glue, paper, scissors. Nice name. <laughs> what printer are you getting? Please let me know what printer you get. Are you getting this printer or are you getting a different one? Okay, so basically what I need to do now, this is how it looks. This this is um it's so simple. It's like I said, this is pro rip. This is what came with the machine, with the printer, and it's so simple to use. But make sure when you use this, you have to get a PNG. You have to upload a PNG file. So what I do is I, I basically uh design my images in Canva. I had a video about that yesterday, so I showed you how I designed the image in Canva. So last night I did some more images and yes I'm did some stuff for the men because I have not been really doing anything for the men but last night I worked on some stuff for the men so the only thing you need to do right now is go to add picture you upload whatever you want so I'm gonna go ahead and go find the picture that I did last night which was Kobe I might just do in Michael Jordan I like Michael Jordan's um so oh, I'm sorry no I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and do Kobe and which one should I do y'all Kobe or Michael Jordan let me hear your response, Kobe or Michael Jordan. But these are all the files that I'm completed already myself. And now what I'm, why y'all tell me that, why y'all go through that and tell me what y'all want me to do, I'm gonna show y'all the files I've already done already that I designed myself. I put in this little drawer right here, okay, DTF. And I basically, here are all my designs right here that I made yesterday or the last two days. This is, of course, Sorority Diva. And I put paper between them so they won't get stuck. So um, here's another one I've made. So I basically can sell these. This is how it's going to look if I, if I, if I, if I, if you purchase these for me, this is how it's going to look, okay? So I'm going to just sit it back in here. But I'm only using one hand, so forgive me. Uh, here's another, oh, here's another one. If I can pick it up with my nails. Oh, oh it's got some white stuff on there, but I can wipe that off. I just did that, so I'm sorry. I'm using one hand. There you go. That's gonna, that, that white stuff can come right off. I just got to wipe it. It's a little bit of dust on there. And that's why you got to keep it covered. And that's what I thought I was doing, but it still got a little dust. So now that's how I keep everything clean and organized. Everything is organized in these little containers. I have about a thousand and one of these things. I got so much stuff, beads from all kinds of stuff, special papers, vinyl. <laughs> So check my video out about if you want to see how my craft room is um, organized, check out the video. I have one on that also. So by I taking that up, that time, let me show you what y'all want me to do. Let's see. Hey, Tequila. Uh, let's see. Thank you for your video. Okay, you see Kobe, Kobe, Morris Chestnut. <laughs> okay, I, I feel you, Dems. I feel you. So everybody said Kobe. Okay. So let me go ahead and do my Kobe one then. Now, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Let me find Kobe and I'm gonna tell y'all, tell me what y'all think about this. Cause me and my fiance had a debate last night. He told me not to put the purple on there and put it on the back black ground. So let me show y'all what it looks like. This is Kobe. Oh my God, I did that by myself. Y'all be so excited when I be doing my own stuff. Cause it looks so neat. I be looking at everybody else's stuff on uh, Etsy. I'm like, oh, that stuff is dope. Then I make my own. I'm like, oh, that's dope too. Eh. No. <laughs> so as you can see, it's purple in the background, right? Then you can see it better now. So if you put this on a black shirt, I think that purple will pop. But my fiance said I should put it with no background in the back of it. What do y'all think? I think mm, it really wouldn't matter. But I think that he just don't like purple. But uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make my shirt with the purple on it. He'll, he'll wear it because <laughs> I made it. What do y'all think? I like, the, I like the, the, the shadow backgrounds on a lot of pictures that I see on Etsy. I like the shadow background. So I could make this without the background. So if you put on a black shirt, it'd just be just his face, I mean, his bodies without the purple background. So what would y'all do? Would y'all do plain or shadow? Put that in the comments, plain or shadow? Because the shadow is the purple. Okay, I just said shadow for the purple. Or would you take the shadow off if you put in a black shirt? Now, if you put in, he said, 
Yeah, the shadow. You know what he said? White shadow. That's what he said. He said white. So I do like the white shadow. But he just didn't like it. He said put white back there. So and I thought if you mm, white, I just put more purple because color pops better than white. Like if you put black on here behind it, that'll pop better than white to me. It do. And then a the purple, it just brings out the yellow to me. So another question: Would you use white on the background? Or would you use the purple for the background for a black shirt? Which one would you use? <sighs> just getting y'all input because everybody do everything different, but just wanted to get y'all input. It's OK. Thank you, Fabulous. She said purple. You know what? And that reason I said it, purple is my favorite color, but I just wanted to get other people ideas to see what they thought. Because I love, it's my favorite color, of course. So I was like, of course, I'm going to think purple looks good. But he also said, he said, you should put white on the back of it. They have purple, and somebody else said white. <laughs> So I know he's gonna be on here. He's gonna be like white. Um, somebody else said white might make it pop more than black. Yeah, she, okay. Somebody said white might make it pop on black. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do purple and I'm putting on a black shirt. So I already designed it, but I will design it again and put white on it. And another thing, like I said, because I don't really like white because a lot of this stuff, like when you do PNGs and you keep the white background on it, I don't like the background on it. So I always take the background off if it's white. So I really don't like white because. On, <laughs> I don't really, I like to see it. I, I like it to have no background or a color background. That's just my preference. Cause like I said, when every time I, every time I do an image and it has a white background on it, I take the white background off and then I make the same color of the shirt. You know, so it'd be the, the background will be the shirt. So that's just maybe that's just me. That's just how I feel. Okay, anywho, right here, it's going to be a man's shirt, which is a, the uh, extra large. So usually I do 10 by 10 for my women's shirt. So my size medium shirt, but since it's going to be a man's shirt, his shirt is extra large. I'm gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna make it fit the page. Okay. So this is a 13. I'm pretty sure it's 13 by the, no, this is right here. It's saying 11, uh, well, 11 by 13, right? So I'm gonna do this a little bit and like this, so can the red spots can be inside the paper, the red, Okay, so that right here, it's not right here. Right here, it tells you what size it is. So it's 11 by 0.3 by 11.3. Okay, usually if you just, if you put something in this box right here, it'll make this box right here do what it do. <laughs> Let me see what y'all saying. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. The purple shadow is dope. Black shirt. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I thought, girl. Asia. Okay, so people say white. Some people say purple. So, okay. Let's see, purple will pop. Let's see what else, I will keep the purple. Yes, it's nice. Thank you. Are you going to make different sizes like smaller ones? Yes, I can because I know um, it, it basically, basically I would make to order. So if somebody wanted on a kid's shirt, I'd make it smaller. But recently I've been making my own shirt. So yes, my shirt is 10 by 10. So this is an extra large shirt. So I made this 11 by 11, a little bit over 11, okay? So I'm looking at your questions. I think that's it. Seems like you will. Okay, that's it. Four minutes. Okay. So now that we got this done, let's see. So basically, it takes no time for you to upload your image into the printer, right? Into the into the software. So then I go over here and I have to push it in white. This is W for white. These are all the colors right here, and I push it in white to make sure that it's all white. It's got to be all white and make sure it looks good because you have to put it right here on 100% white under any color pixel. It has other things down here okay but i just keep it under 100 percent white under any color pixel that's what i was told to do okay so i click on that it's already going it's already saved here once you save it it's there you gotta worry about doing this i'm just showing you okay so everything looks good all you have to do y'all is upload and i'm gonna go back to the regular picture by pushing c upload the picture make sure this is set for 100 um push on that w make sure it's set for 100 per, uh, pixel or whatever and then make sure your size is right down here and then up here, this right here, it tells you, make sure the scale is, you make sure you put it on the inches if you want to use inches, okay? And of course, language is English. Because a lot of people do this from China, so that's Chinese. Okay, so everything is good. So all you got to do now is push rip, y'all. So now time, go ahead and get the timer together for me. Um, Make sure this thing is set right. Ready, set, go. Push rip. Tell me how long it takes to do this picture. Everything looks good on here. You don't got to do nothing on here. You just got to basically make sure it says automatically print after rip. And then you have to make sure it's mirrored. Okay. Now, and then I push print, but you can't see that because my, it just don't see it. But I know that box says print. 
So print it and let me tell me how much long it takes to do this picture. I just designed this myself, y'all. So this is for sale. And I will have all my, um, the ones I just showed you in the beginning, I mean, in the, in the video, I will have these for sale on my website, Charming Gale Boutique. I have, a, that's my adult website. I also have a website, it's called Array of Sunshine, my children boutique, which I basically um, make and design clothes and items for kids. It's basically in honor of my granddaughter who passed away during childbirth. So that was two years ago. So I made that, her name was Araya. Nicole, Ray, and I named that um, the boutique a Ray of Sunshine. So it's all for ch children, um, children clothing, baby, infant stuff like that. And I design, so I do it all. So check out that website. It's an Etsy page. That link is below also. So I have two websites. And now I'm going to be adding my DTF transfers to my adult website, which is Charming Girl Boutique. Okay, and the shirts that I make for TTF. And I still can personalize anything for you. So let me show y'all why I'm talking my mouth off and you see how it looks when, you, when it's printing out. See, let me show y'all. Oh, it's not working. See, I'm not, I'm pretty sure. See, it's supposed to start off white and it's not. So that means it's not working. Let me, oh, maybe, let me just see. Let me let it go a little bit more. Cause maybe that's going on top of that. See the white tip, it is, it did start off white, okay? But it confused me sometimes because look, it says it has a little tip of white, but then it has that brown of the foot of for the basketball. So as long as it start off white, then it should be good. So we should be good, y'all. Then I see how it prints the color on then it, I mean, then it prints the white on top of the color. See, it's just it's funny. It's <laughs> but it's working. But if it would have kept on printing black without the white showing, then I would have to stop it and do it over. So that's just something to, sh to show you. See, now it's all white, okay? So it's looking good, looking good. So so hope somebody timed me. Let me know how long this works. And like I said, every design is not gonna be the same. You know, this might be more longer than the other ones because this has a lot of color in it. Well, you know, a lot of different images in it. And I have four images in this, well, one, uh, five images in this plus his name. So that's six images plus the shadow. So that's seven images in this, in this design. So, it, but it looks like it's it's rolling. It's looking good. Let me just show you how it looks. What was I saying before this, y'all? Okay, and also let me show y'all how you basically go to here, to go to the arrow again, and then you can go ahead and right click on here, and you can check the printing, the printer queue. So to, earlier we went to printer printer preferences, so we can do the maintenance. So then we go down here to printer queue. Hey, craft with love. So then it tells you right here that we're printing, and then it also would say, I'm pretty sure it'd tell me if I'm if it's finished. So I'm gonna leave it on here so it can let me, so it can show me if it's finished. And it should time me. I it have the like the little time thing right here. It's time scale, but it really don't really don't tell you how long it takes to print. Look at that. So my heater is already heating up. It's upstairs. The heater has to be on. Um, the heater that came with this machine, like you don't. Um, you can get the heater if you want to. It's like extra six hundred dollars, but I heard that you can still use the heat press um, to uh, use it to cure the powder on here. Okay, but I have the heater also. Okay, so here's the line. I guess it's telling you if it's when it's done. Any questions, y'all? Let me see if we have any questions. Thank you, Dennis, for um, sharing my links. I appreciate you. Um. Okay, she said it started at 10.48. Okay, let me know when it, when it stopped. Let me know what time it will be so I can put that down on my little notes so I can see how long it takes. But like I said, every print is not going to be the same. Somebody said, I wanted the panda one because he looks so cute. I believe they are the same printer. Yes, this is the print. This is the one with the panda face or whatever. <laughs> it's made by Pro Color, and it is in China. And it didn't take long to ship either. Okay. So like I said, if you want this printer, check out my link below. Click on my link below and you will and use my name, Charmaine Galloway. Well, it's, I think it's Charmaine, but it's like the last two letters of my last name is not on there. Whatever that link says, use that and when check out so you can get the discount. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Oh my God, I can't believe I did. This is my first time doing a Kobe shirt. I've done a Kobe tumbler, stuff like that, but this is my first time doing a, a DTF, a design the whole uh, design for a shirt. Any questions? I mean, for, with Kobe on it. I've, like I said, I've done tumblers and cups with him on it, but not no shirt. 
So I'm excited about this, y'all. And I'm excited because this is DTF. But anyway, if it's a PNG, I can still use that PNG, the same PNG that I have here. I can still use that for sublimation. So I can sublimate it with ink instead of using DTF. So I can use this same image for sublimation and for um and for um DTF. But you cannot use it for vinyl because it's too many colors. And it's basically you have to layer it and layer it and layer it. And you cannot this this image that I'm doing right now, it cannot be used with vinyl. Okay. Only with sublimation and DTF. And you can also use you could use transfer sheets from it's it's, it's called transfer sheets from like Hobby Lobby or M Michaels, but you and you could use a regular inkjet printer, but the problem with them is it only come in eight and a half by 11. And it feels almost like the same thing. It is like paper. And then you put in your inkjet printer and you print it and it wash good too. But like I said, the only, the only bad thing about the transfer paper, I'm gonna show that to you too. I have some, I'm pretty sure I do. I got everything in this basement. Um, the only thing is it's only coming eight and a half by 11. So when you wanna print bigger things, it ain't gonna work for you. So here it is right here. Basically it's the um, Jolie transfer. Let me see what it say. It's the, uh, what is it? Standard, let me see. Oh, transfer sheets, okay? So this is, this is not DTF. <laughs> Which can be confusing, y'all. This is not DTF. It's basically something you can get these little eight and a half by eleven sheets. You can get these from um, uh, Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, and see. It looks like DTF. Let me turn it around the right way. The printer is still going, so I'm gonna still talk to y'all for a little bit. I don't want to confuse y'all, but yeah. See, it looks like DTF. Okay, it comes out like DTF, but it's just the only the only the bad thing is that is uh, it's only eight and a half by eleven. And but DTF printers, you can make it, it could be, it's bigger prints, okay, for bigger shirts, okay. These can come out really small because eight and a half by 11 sheets would not work. I mean, it will work, but the image will be very, very small. That's what I meant to say. So let me show you how it looks if I have one in here. It's basically like, it's paper. It's paper, <laughs> but it's washable. So it's, it's called a transfer. You basically, um, I did this before. I have a video on how to do use these too. So just check my video out. I did a video on this compared to what was it? I forgot what it was, but it's a video that I've done. It was a Christmas shirt for my son, and I put uh, I used this. So check my video out to show you how to use this. Cause sometimes I be doing so much, y'all. I forget how to use stuff. I gotta go back and watch my videos myself, cause I be forgetting how to do stuff. Okay, <laughs> that's how bad how many machines I have. And girl, well I'm say girl and males, cause I know it's males on here. Guess what I just bought yesterday? Shh, don't tell nobody else. I just ordered a hat press off of Amazon. So when that comes in, I'm going to show you how to use that also because um, a lot of people have been asking me to do hats for them and stuff, and I didn't have a heat, hat, hat press. So I've been using this right here, which is the uh, easy press, little easy press thing, but this is kind of hectic. So this one guy was watching a video yesterday, and this one girl was doing her video. I can't think of her name right now. I watched a lot of her videos too. I can't think of her name right now. I'm sorry. But she has a head press and she did it. And I was like, oh, I got to give me one. It was really a good, a nice sale on Amazon. So it wasn't that expensive. So I would leave that link below the video also. But it's coming soon. So when they come in, I'm going to show you all my new machine. I have another new gadget. And it's a hat press. Don't tell nobody. Okay, so you can use this too. This is a little easy press, a little arm thing for heat press. But the heat press, the hat press would be so much easier. You can use vinyl and you can use DTF. So I will be doing hats with DTF, okay? Any questions? I'm gonna find one day I'm gonna come back here and go over to sit because I got too much too many machines in this thing. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. When you don't text, change those numbers back to the number one or the number zero. What are you talking about, baby giant service? Thanks for the tip. Does the paper is the paper costly? Prevent the white from being seen around the edges of your image. A note for murder there make to be a print on the screen where you choose hundred percent white. Okay, let me read this out because I'm reading out. So I'm sorry. It's baby giant. She said a note for future direct to film prints on the screen where you choose hundred percent white. The four boxes with the number zero change all four to the number three. This will prevent the white from being seen around the edges of your images. Thank you for that tip. So, as you, 
I don't see any white now on this one, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see what that does. So, baby giant, what printer do you have? You have this printer. Does the paper costly? I guess it is the paper costly. This is film, and I don't know because they sent this printer to me, so I don't really know how much film is. But you can check their website, see how much the printer, how much the film is. I don't know how much the film is, but I have a whole roll of it, so it's gonna last me a while. She said, I have the heat press from Amazon and I love it. It gets the job done. Good. So I will be doing tutorials on that when I get that. Uh, let's see. Prevent the white. Okay, so I'm going to try. I'm going to look at that again. Let me see. I don't want to do anything now while this program is on, but I'm going to check that out next time I do a next printing and try it out. Thank you for the tip. So she basically said, just I got to look and see how it looks. I got to look at it before I can understand what she's saying. Any other questions? It's still printing, y'all. Oh, it's coming out. It's coming out good. It's almost done. Up, oh, I think it's done. I think it's done. Look at that. So let me see what it says. It don't. It says submitted. It don't say done yet. But where is it? Why is this the diagram? Maybe that's the last. Of it. Let me see. I'm gonna wait to see if it's gonna say it's done. It says submitted. Let me make sure I'm on the right. It says Q, documents in a Q. It should have it should have came up on here and it didn't. Let me go. Um, where, oh, I'm sorry, here it is right here. <laughs> on here it says it's finished. That's the right time, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and take this out. Let me put this on my little so now I gotta put the powder on it. Yes, the powder came with it. Here's the powder. And no, I don't have any gloves on, which I should have gloves on, and I don't have any gloves on today or a mask. My heat press is ready, so everything is ready to go with this shirt. So how much how long did it take that to print, y'all? Who who took the did the timing for me? Oh, you have the Epson. Okay, four four eight zero zero. Is this bigger? Is that bigger than this one? Baby giant. Cause I'm interested in getting a bigger, <laughs> a bigger one. I need smaller images, like three by three. So what I'm finding is most to sell a certain size. Oh, you need small. So are you doing hats? Um, what's your name? Little Asia girl. I don't know. Okay, are you doing hats? That's why you need those small ones. What are you making them? What are you using them for? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around. Ten minutes? It took ten minutes to do that. Oh my gosh, it went by so fast because I was talking, but that's a lot. That is slow. That's a lot. So you got to think about that when you try and do a lot of shirts. It took 10 minutes to do that. Sublimation, <laughs> sublimation, it takes what? Like a regular printer. It'll print that thing out like it's spitting out regular ink, ink but it's really just sublimation ink. But that's a long time, I think, for to print out a shirt. Wow. But that time went by quick, okay? So let me show y'all. How I do what I do, I basically push the feeding button over here on the side. You can't see it. It feeds out the paper a little bit until I'm able to cut it. Right about, right about here. Then I use my cutter and I cut it straight across across. And then all it's supposed to be white on the back. And look at that, y'all. Oh my God. Look at that. I'd be so excited when it's over, when it's done. <laughs> and yes, I did waste a lot of film right here. This is a lot of film wasted, y'all. So I got to figure out ways to figure to get this together. Probably feed the paper back in a little bit more before I start printing. So I'm about to cut this off real quick with my other cutter. I'll be right back. Okay. So now that I have this, Here's the picture, y'all. Oh, my. I'd be so excited when it comes. This is my first time printing this out, okay? So I'd be so excited when, <laughs> when stuff come out. So now I'm going to put this in my little tray. I got this from Dollar Tree. The powder came with the machines. So let me go ahead and put this back in here so I can put it back in there. I need some gloves on. I'm putting my sleeves up because last time I had powder all over my sleeves, and this stuff is toxic, okay? And I'm bad, bad, bad for not putting mask and gloves on. But don't do, don't follow me by this one point right here. Have all your stuff that you need. And I don't have my stuff that I need. So I'm going to put this in a tray. Put this on here like this. Can y'all see that, y'all? Thank you. Thank you. Everybody saying it looks good. So put a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Make sure you get all the edges. Um. All the edges, 
So I don't know if she answered me a lot, but the lady that's on here already, she said she has a DTF printer. Is your printer bigger or the same size? How do you like it? And um, is it a lot of maintenance for your printer, your DTF printer? This is, like I said, I just got this printer. I just set everything up and only been working on it for the last two days. I've been learning a lot, researching a lot, looking at other people's videos, just trying to learn it. And then also talking to the person I bought it from. They're in China. They're very helpful. If you do get this printer, they're very helpful on Skype. So, um, and I saw, I, I can help you too with the knowledge that I know, but I research every day on different things that I see. I learn from that and I teach y'all what I know. I love designing things. I help, love helping people design things and learn different things to start a business or whatever if you're just doing it for your family members. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure this is all getting over the edges, make sure everything looks good. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and the guy, he told me it's best to basically put this powder on within a minute of it coming from the printer, at the printer, okay? So I did that. It's been only, it's been less than a minute. Then you shake it off a little bit and this it, it's, it's over with, it's done. So now I'm taking it up to my heater so we can cure it. So let's go upstairs with me. I, reason why I have my, <laughs> two reasons. Reason why I have my heater, uh, ooh, lower. Reason why I have my heater upstairs is because there's no more room down here. That's one of the reasons. Another reason I have it upstairs because there's a patio door upstairs and I can be able to, you need some exhaust because uh, it's too much fume. So you wanna make sure that's by a window. I have my fan on up here. Hope I, my phone will go off. Can y'all hear me still? Can y'all hear me? Here's the print. Here's the oven. Okay, this is the box that came in. So this is on the box that it came in. Here's the oven. Can y'all hear me? Hundred degrees, two hundred seconds. Yes, you can hear me. Thank you, fabulous. Yesterday I did a video. My phone went off when I came up here. Don't know why, but it did. So 100 degrees Celsius for 200 seconds. No, is that seconds? Not no, that's minutes, I think. No, seconds. So it's already set. I'm tripping, y'all. It's early. So um, put it in here. Close it up. And here we go. Turn to push start. And there you go, 200 seconds, and it'll be done at 200 seconds. I'll be, well, I don't want to stand up here. I'll go back downstairs until it's ready. Good, I'm glad y'all can hear me. So it will beep loud when it's done. So we can go back downstairs, I guess. Okay, somebody said I have that, the heater shaker unit, and that helps greatly with printing big orders. What? She said the printer, sh the he heater shaker. What is? What does that do? Okay, let me see what else she was saying. Cause she said she has the printer. Fabulous. Can you lift the chest? Can you use that lift chest? Okay. Yeah. Look at the. Yeah. Look at all the wasted film. Yes, you're right, them. It's a lot. Look, that's the one I just did for just for this little old. Yeah, I just looked at that. Like it's a whole sheet right there just for the dang on print head cleaning thing. So yeah, I'm gonna start <laughs> utilizing and <laughs> paper and figuring that out because that these are a lot of film, but they give us a lot of film, even though it still they give you that big old whole roll. Well it gave me that roll, but you just gotta pay for it. Oh, let me show you my other shirts over here real quick while we waiting on that to beep. I'm gonna go ahead and put um lit roll this shirt. This is the shirt I'm gonna be using. Shirt I've made right here. Shirt I made right here. Like I said you can you can feel that and it's a sublimation right here. I always put this right here so you can see the difference. This is something that you can't feel that. It's ink. It's, it's infused into the shirt. So you can't feel that, but you can feel this. See? Okay. Stre all, just stretch really good, so don't worry about it cracking or anything like that. Just don't put bleach in the water. You can also put it in the dryer. I have the heater shaker unit, and it helps gently with the orders. Okay, let me see. Run a power cleaning cycle. For what? I love my Epson converter. Oh, she converted her printer into um, DTF. Maintenance is not hard unless you make it hard, meaning shake your inks every day if you miss a day or two. Okay, so for converted ones, they say shake it. Um, Shake the ink. I don't know if I'm supposed to shake it with this one too. So you don't have to do a hair cleaning every time. Every day you just shake your ink. 
Okay, I'm just go ahead and do this while I'm waiting for that to beep. Because you always want to lint roll your um image, your shirt, and then you basically get press it to get the wrinkles out. So you press it for like 20 seconds to get the wrinkles out. Okay. Let's see what else y'all saying. As the print comes out, it goes into a powder shaker. Oh, it put powder on the print and then rolls through the heater section to be cured. Rolls out and rolls up. Whoa, that's a, that's a, is that a big machine? Is it bigger than the one I have right here? That's a lot. That's cool. So basically, you don't have to do this procedure. You do it. You put it in the heater shaker and it do, does that for you. And it cures it also. Okay, let me close this heat thing. Uh, <sighs> okay, we almost done with this video, y'all. Now I'm gonna get y'all off of here, and I'm gonna do some more shirts. <laughs> do some more shirts. I got that already. Lint road. My machine is going off, so let's get the the um, film. It's beeping, 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 and it stinks too. That smell is not good. So I'm gonna turn it off. Take the film off, film out. Okay, and it don't look no different than it did before. I'm just holding it since I get downstairs and I'm gonna put it on the shirt and we're done after I press this for, okay, so let me put my phone on the little stand so y'all can see me better. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here's the image. It's not, and it looks kind of shiny still. Where well, the powder looked dry before I put it on there, now it looks kind of shiny. I don't know if you can see that through the phone, but it was dry powder, now it's shiny. And basically, I, <laughs> you basically the powder is for is adhesive. So without the powder, it won't stick. So he said, my sales rep said, if you don't use the powder, it won't stick to the shirt. So the powder is to help it sticks to the shirt. That's all it is. That's the adhesive the glue for that. Okay. So there's my design. So now let's go ahead and he pressed his shirt to get the wrinkles out, the moisture and wrinkles out of it real quick. Black, be careful with black because you don't want it to um scorch. I'm gonna tighten up a little bit because yesterday I did a hoodie. So I'm gonna tighten up a little bit. So turn right, so I'm tighten, turn left to tighten. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like that. So I did that. So now I'm gonna put the um I use basically like I said, I'm gonna go three inches down from the um collar line. This is a double X is this a double X or extra large? This is only an extra large shirt. Hope you can fit this. <laughs> three inches down, so right here. And like I said, if I sell these to y'all, it'll come in a package like this. I put in like a pla a, a ziploc bag that fit this and then with some um, paper in it to cover it up. And this is how it would look when you ship it, when I ship it to you. And all you gotta do is put it in the heat press just like this, and or either use an iron. You can't use an iron. I heard from a video, you can't use an iron. But heat press, will, of course, would be better. But if you got a quick and easy press, that would be perfect also. So I'm gonna bring it down some more. So about three inches rest right there. The even shirt and how I even it up, I basically take my ruler and I ain't gonna like this part because this is like this cut off. That dog on film is gonna look like it's, it's I don't like that because you know, usually when you do a background, you make it, it's like circle or bubble. This is gonna be a straight line right here. I thought I was able to put that, I should have brought that um picture over some, but this is not this is for my fiance. So, but I, I'm gonna see how it looks, see how it turned out, to see if it looks square. I don't like to just look at, I don't like my pictures to look boxed boxed in and right here this is going to be boxed in because of how this image was cut off when i designed it i don't know if you understand what i'm saying but yeah i'll show you show it to you in a minute what i'm saying five over here and five over here so i'm gonna bring this over a little bit over here make sure it's straight seven back where it was okay so that's good enough now 
Yeah, I t- it takes me a little time to do this because I don't like my stuff to be crooked. But this is how I do it. Okay, so now basically do not cover it up with anything first, okay? So then you cl- you basically do this 320 degrees for 40 seconds, okay? 40 seconds. I think that's a little bit too tight. 40 seconds. Any questions? And then that's basically at that, that it cools off. You do it's a cool peel. You take it off and then you do it again for 10 seconds. Yeah, so you do understand. Yes. I don't I'm gonna show y'all how what I was saying after I let it cool off. So I just noticed that after I put it on the on the heat press, like, oh my god, it's gonna be box right. It's gonna be a straight line to the edge of the image, and I don't like that, but we'll see. How that look? Oh shoot! Why is this lifting up? I'm gonna show y'all this real quick. This is my first time ever seeing it. Maybe it was too tight. The heat press is too tight. But see, right now when I lift, oh, I went back down. But it was lifting up like this when I, oh, cause I sucked the heat press, sucked it up, cause it's it's probably a little bit too um too tight, cause I just tightened it up from using the sweatshirt yesterday. So this is what I'm saying right here. See how this right over here is not. It's, it's got a it's got a shape to it. I like that, and that's why I didn't when I designed it. It didn't go off the paper, but right here, this goes off the paper. So this design is not going to be shaped. It's going to be a straight line going down. I don't like that. I like to have it shaped like a cloudy a cloud effect, not a box effect, right? See how this is up here? It's not cut off. This right here is cut off, and right and here, this is cool. It's a straight line right here, but you can tell it goes with the image. But like I said, when you usually, like I find stuff off of it, I found all these images off of uh, Google, right? And I just took the white background off of it and I made this design. Then I got this from Canva, this name, this font came from Canva. That's how I made this design. So if you don't wanna make this design, let me know and I can um, design it for you. I'm just waiting for it to cool cause it's hot. So it's gotta be a cool, it's a cool peel. And we're almost done. Oh, what time? See, I should have. Okay, we the time to do that shirt was 10 minutes. So then it takes about uh 60 seconds, well, 40 seconds for this. So probably adding up the minute on here. So all together, it's going to take at least 15 minutes to do a shirt. It's about 10 minutes, about, about 15 to 20 minutes to do a shirt. Okay, I just added a couple more minutes on there. So you still got to let it cool. You got to do press it again. So 15 to 20 minutes to do a whole DTF shirt with this machine that I have here. Okay, so let's see. I think I um pressed it too tight. I think my um press was too tight, but I don't. We're gonna see. Um, it's still it's still hot. So I'm gonna let it cool off. It's supposed to be a cool peel, which means it's gotta be cool to touch before I pull it off. Okay. She said, Charmaine, once you get everything working, I think you're 11 by 14, what you would change for a gauge sheet. I've been looking at a few black owned companies, but I'd rather have you make them. Uh, what you saying, once you get everything working, I think you are film 11 by 14. What you would charge oh what would you charge okay i see um i'm not sure yet i don't know i haven't did a gang sheet yet so i would check that out and i will give just inbox me on facebook and i'll let you know no she said um for a cooling process she used a cool uh she used a tall portable fan okay hang the shirt in front of it to speed the cooling process okay thank you you're so helpful thank you so much for your help i appreciate that and it is not really good to cool on the heat press because the heat is still coming out. So I understand what you're saying, but I don't have a fan down here right now. So I'm going to have to wait. And it's still really hot. It's still hot. So that's another couple of, about a couple, two minutes for this to cool because it's still hot. Okay. Uh, as the print comes out, it goes into the pocket. Okay, you already told me that. Yes, it is a good size. Yes, 10 minutes is long. Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay. Those shirts look amazing. Thank you. Thank you, fabulous. I have a heater shaker. Okay, so it's still hot, y'all. So go ahead and like this video. I have 52 people watching. It's 32 likes. Go ahead and like this video. We've been on this video for 63 minutes. I'm glad y'all watching me. I know y'all might, somebody y'all, might be at work, so I appreciate y'all watching this video. 
After I pull this off, I'm going to basically heat press this another 10 seconds, and I'm going to be out of here. I can show you all the end results, but go ahead and give me a, a thumbs up to this. And if this is your first time watching me, please say that you're a newbie so I can shout you out. And please subscribe to this channel. I will be doing a lot of videos on DTF, but if you want me to do anything else on sublimation, whatever else, please let me know. And also check out my old videos because they all, I have over 100 videos using all kinds of them different machines. Somebody said they use a cooling block for their vinyl when needed too. They have cooling blocks that are $20. A cooling block, what is it? I gotta check that out on Amazon. Thank you. So that will help the process go quicker. But instead of me sitting here waiting for this to cool off, I could be doing something else. <laughs> so yeah, that would be work. That would work. Or I can just get a little cheap fan. But like I said, this could be cooling off while I'm doing something else in, in the background anyway. So really don't it don't matter unless I need that heat and press right away. Okay, this is good enough, y'all. So let me go ahead and pull this off. Oh my God. Look at that. See that box? I don't like that right there. That box right here, I don't like it. So I will be doing this design over. But um, because I don't I, I want it to be more polished, and that's not good. <laughs> I didn't notice that until I put it on the heat press. See now how my heat press is too tight because this line around here. This image still look kind of small for this shirt to me. I will probably make it bigger. But it's okay. It's 11 by 11. Let me see what this printing. The printing page I have right here says for an extra large shirt, it should be 10. So this is 11 by something. So this is the image they wanted to, I mean, the size they wanted to use. But I always go up. So right here, let me show y'all if you can see this. I don't know where I got this from. Heat, oh, I got this from Heat Transfer Vinyl Size and Placement Chart. And right here it says a dot. So extra large would be 10 inches. And I use 11 inches. So I always do an inch more. So it just looks small on this on this on this shirt, but it's really not. <laughs> and then you also say say place it three inches or three and a half below the neckline. Okay. So I have oh I just burnt myself, y'all. So there we have it. Here's the shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and press it one more time. Ten seconds, but I'm, I'm gonna loosen up my heat press because it's a little bit too tight. Here's my Teflon paper. That purple was kind of light. I thought it was gonna be a little darker, but that's not me. It's not the machine. It's my purple that I picked on it. So let me untighten it real quick. Hold on. Untighten it. Just a little bit. Put it down. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> trying to do it. with one hand. I can't do it. Okay. Teflon paper. Bring it in. And we're going to do it for 10 seconds and we're done. This is a shirt I made yesterday, y'all. This is a hoodie I made. My first hoodie. Okay, 10 seconds is up. It's smoky, smoky. I don't remember if that, um. Okay, let's show you with it. Oh! <laughs> ah! Sorry! I dropped my phone. Sorry. Okay, let me show y'all the shirt and it's over with. Here it is. How do it look? What do you think? I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> that purple is not dark enough. Uh, and I think I will do something, another color. I know the purple would have been better if it was a little bit darker. It looks like a little peachy, a little kind of peachy to me. I don't look purple. But like I said, I, I like to try different things. But I don't, I don't know how, I don't like the way this did it. I don't know if it supposed to be like that as to how the the, 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 the cloud supposed to look faded like that. But there's, like I said, it's not the machine. that was, It was me, that, the color I picked. So it's just the image that I don't like that I made. But everything else the machine did is wonderful with it. It's just my, and look how this, it stretches. It's, I like the way this feel, this feel thinner. It feels thinner than this. This feels kind of thicker than this. And it's the same film. So I guess it's just a different shirt you use. This is polyester. This is polyester. So the polyester is thick, thinner material. This is thicker cotton. And I really can't, I can feel it, but it's it's, it's funny. It, it feels thinner than it feels on here. This feels thick. I don't know how, it's like feel like a little rubbery to me on this polyester, but on this, it feels thinner. If that makes sense, okay. So here's the shirt. I guess it just it feels different on different material, of course, because this is polyester and this is um cotton. 
hundred percent cotton. So what do y'all think? What do y'all think? What do y'all think about the image? Should I keep it or should I change it up? Whew, I'm hungry now. I think I'm gonna stop and give me some knee. <laughs> okay, let me see. Charmaine, once you get everything working. Okay, she already said that. Any another note for the cool? Okay, she said that one. Um Oh, really? I didn't know that part either. She said, also get a humidity reader. If the humidity in your room is below 50 or above 60, you will have printing issues. I never knew that. So I'm glad you told me this. How long you been doing DTF? You're very helpful. Thank you so much. My hair is getting on my nerves. It's getting on my nerves. <laughs> uh, let me see. Invest in a dehumidifier. You won't regret it. I have a, de de I have a humidifier. Dehumidifier. I have one of those. Okay, been trying to catch your lies, but I'm so busy. Did you already talk pricing? Uh, what about the machine, Katie? And it looks good though. I see what you're saying about the deeper purple. Yeah, Asia. Okay, anything else? I thank you so much, Baby Giant, for all your um, your um advice and um different techniques you use. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The machine is around two over a little, little, little bit over two thousand dollars. But if you use my link below, you will get a discount. I have been doing it for two and a half years. Okay, great. Oh, I just started and I'm very excited about it. So I'm gonna use the techniques you said. You said use a, a cooling block or either the fan. And also, you said something about the dehumidifier to make sure temperature is good in the room for your prints. So I would definitely consider those things. All right, y'all. That's it. I'm out of here. Any other questions before I leave? Before I tear my hair out my head? <laughs> pull up, pull up my hair. Anything else, y'all? All right. Well, I guess not. So I will be on it. I'll probably do another video tomorrow. I'm gonna try. I don't know. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Oh, I did get some stuff in the mail. Um, I got. I I got. I went on this site and got some hoodies and some jogging suits. I think so. I'm gonna probably do a, a little video on that to show you how the quality of the jogging suits and hoodies are because I'm buying more colored cotton now because before I only can buy uh polyester or I could have used the hoodies for uh um uh, for um vinyl but now that i'm doing this i went ahead and get, went on this online site and got some hoodies so i'm gonna open that up tomorrow probably do a, a reveal on the store of, of how i like the hoodies and we can probably do that tomorrow so thank y'all for watching if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time be blessed have a good one <laughs>